Hey all, Russ here, our very TV, welcome. Check it out, we're on Highway 95, we're heading down to Quartzsite. We are five miles from the community of Parker Dam. In my opinion, this is one of the prettiest drives you could ever make. We're skirting right along uh, Lake Havasu and the Colorado River. I never get tired of this. I could drive this route every single day. Look at the mountains. Yay. Here we go, right across the Bill, Bill Williams River. Look at that guy. He's in a hurry. That's a wildlife preserve way out there. Just one pretty, pretty place. sign says 51 miles down to Quartzsite, yay! But we're gonna stop, check out some of this scenery. Right off here to the right is the entrance to the preserve itself. We're not gonna go in this trip. Better get a chance to stop there. They got a great visitor center. There's a pumping station. Puts water into the reservoirs that go all the way down to Phoenix. All right, there's a little pull out up here. We'll stop and check it out. Not a breath of wind. A few clouds rolling through. Picture perfect. This is the best weather you can have fall in the desert. Lake Havasu full of water. All the other lakes we've been seeing have been empty. <laughs> Lake Havasu's blessed. We got water here. But they got quite a few of these little scenic pullouts. Way up there, there's, uh, oh, what do they call it? Havasu Springs and uh, Havasu Dam. Parker Dam, but what a pretty, pretty place. Always loved the crystal blue against the brown of the desert. There's that little peninsula, everyone goes down there fishing. Then way off that marshland, that goes on the other side of the bridge, a bridge that we cross is way down there. That's the Bill Williams River. Low mobile home community there. What a view they have, huh? Absolutely stunning. Then you got these mountains. But it gets brutally hot here in the summer with all this beauty. <laughs> it cooks here in the summer. Hiking trails. You can see the power lines way up through there. There's a lot of four wheeling. Definitely four wheel back through there. You can actually take uh, trails all the way over to Baus. There's uh, Arizona Peace Trails back in there someplace. Absolutely gorgeous. Then way up there, that's Havasu Springs and Parker Dam itself, which we're going to head to like right now. This whole stretch from where I started the cameras to where we end up is probably about over 20 miles. It's not that far. See, here's another one of those little pullouts. You always see people stopping and getting selfies. <laughs> what a bird's eye view of the lake, Havasu Lake. Now this Havasu Springs, you know, jury's out on that. It's a lot of timeshares in there. They offered package deals. There is RV parking down in there. Where you get a couple free nights if you sit and listen to one of their meetings. But they got a little tiny golf course, marinas, boating, fishing. I mean, it's Shangri-La for sure. 
except for all the timeshare stuff. But it's a pretty good little restaurant down there. You know, all this land is leased through the government. It's not really owned. Corporations own the business. Something like that. Because on the California side, which is straight across the river, you know, speaking of California, you want to go there real quick? <laughs> I got to get down to Quartzsite, but we can make a little uh, side trip up here, what do you say? We're dropping straight down. This is a community. Parker Dam, Arizona. Now, right up here, they call it 95A Spur, something like that. This road right here. Let's go. Only take a couple minutes. Let's go have a little fun. We're going to cut across the dam. Straight ahead, that building's been a restaurant. I don't know how many different times. And this is part of Parker Dam. It's storage, boating, housing, and there's a gas station back there. And that's about it. If you want to do any shopping, you gotta either go in the Havasu or down to Parker. Ooh, this will be good. You're going to see Parker Dam pretty quick, which creates Lake Havasu. There it is. Also, I filmed it before. We're, I can't do it. We got. I got to get on down the road, but. There's takeoff point. It's a fishing area. It's on the Arizona side of Lake Havasu. And it's right here on the right, that little road right there. You go up top of the hill and that's takeoff point. Beautiful up there. All right, there's restrictions on the bridge. No RVs, big RVs, trailers, trucks. Just regular passenger vehicles, or the van's okay here. Here you go. This is the Parker Dam that creates Lake Havasu. Backs it up for, I don't know, 30 some miles. Lake Havasu's a massive lake. And right about here in the middle, Hang on. I guess about right here. Now you're in California. <laughs> cool. And all the power plant stuff's on this side. There's the Colorado River. Yay. <laughs> Stop here a second. I'll get a shot of the signs for you. Parker Dam Road goes all the way down the California side. Very scenic. There's 20 some RV resorts. And there's a little info on the dam itself. Parker Dam. Big old cranes to lift the gates, let the water release the water. They really control the flow on the river here. All right, let's cut back across. Let's go back to Arizona. actually change time zones here. You change time zones. 
California's an hour different. There's the mighty Lake Havasu. Still full of water. That's good to see. Lake Mead, Lake Powell there. Not doing so good. And there's the Colorado River. All that water heads all the way down to Yuma. Okay. Anyway, thought that was a cool little trip. Let's keep on trucking. Yeah, this road right here, that takes you up to takeoff point. Highly recommend it. One last look. Temperature right now is about 77 degrees. Absolutely perfect, no wind. Get back on 95. But you can see there's storage everywhere. A lot of homes. Very expensive area. There's that gas station on the left. Right there. Mainly mobile homes, but even those, those are way up in price because you're right on the river. More storage buildings. There used to be like a little bar restaurant. Yep, that little green building there. That looks closed. Huh. Okay. There you go. Now, Parker Dam, there's another section of it up a little farther. You can just kind of skirt right along the Colorado River. the other section now directly across the river that's California but there are so many resorts I forget the names of them but if you look at it on the maps there there's over 20 and they go all the way down the California side to uh, Parker itself Parker Arizona which is a big bridge that's the big bridge that you can cross over These places right here, I think they're like Airbnbs. You see little garages. Very high price real estate. You always see them for sale now and then. And look at the mountains. <laughs> kind of like its own little oasis here. On the left, the RV park. It's kind of like a co-op thing where you own the lots, deeded lots, I believe. But what a pretty, pretty place. Look at down at the water. Crystal blue. Right there's California. One of the resorts. Just lined with mobile homes right along the shoreline. And they got RV parking. You can see it behind. The way up there, there's Parker Dam, Lake Havasu. Got a little island out there. You can actually see the how the water flows through there, what's deep and what's not. And there's Parker Dam on the Arizona side. There's a better shot at that mobile home park. It's like a co-op, but you can put RVs in there. I knew a guy that stayed there for a while. Then you got the view. Oh man. You can't beat this for sun, su sunrises, sunsets, uh, turns like a purplish color. Late evening or early morning when the sun hits, uh, that red dirt. A lot of people hike back in here too. Pretty rugged, but they hike it. Matter of fact, right up the road here is uh, state parks. 
Right there's Highway 95. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, keep on trucking. Right off to the right here is here's one of them, River Island State Park. That's a small one. All these state parks get jammed up. You can only stay there like 14 days at a time. But they got hookups, power, water, sewer, and great river access. Then there's a private RV park up here on the right. I think this one's called Castle Rock. Off to the right. That's private, not state. You even got a, like a little three hole golf course there and then the gas station on the left there. Just mile after mile. You cannot go wrong. In a few weeks, we'll do the California side again. I've filmed that a few times. You just can't get enough of this area. Then right up here, be the other state park called Buckskin State Park. Then this bridge up here, it's a pedestrian bridge that goes back to the hiking trails. see how the mighty Colorado winds through there and I know the name of that one that's Echo Lodge I stayed there a couple times a few years back look how you can put your RV right on the water and it's really not that expensive a few years back it was like 300 bucks a month off season see their big time here is boating in the summer this place is packed And that's that Big Ben RV resort way up there. And then right down below, there's Buckskin. That's the state park. Very, very busy state park. I don't know what to get. It's about 30 bucks a night. You'd have to look it up. I don't know, remember. Now you can see the pedestrian uh, walking bridge. And that'll take you back to the hiking trails. Then way back up there is Parker Dam. Gorgeous. What a view, huh? There's your Kodak moment. Perfect day. Not an ounce of wind right now. The winds can really get screaming. Almost looks like a Mars landscape. <laughs> cool and there's the highway we'll keep right on trucking oh look ski boat pulling a skier let's watch him a second huh they almost look like toys down there from up here Too cool for school. <laughs> yep, that's Echo Lodge straight across. You know, the river, it really changes and uh, 
flow and depth, they really regulate it. Back there at Parker Dam, it'll drop several feet overnight. Then they take it way up. All right, well, we're almost out of it. We got a little bit yet. right here to the right drops you down to the frontage road right on the water which is all county parks La Paz County there's a couple private resorts like Foxes and stuff but uh, La Paz County Park which is huge is down there massive county park with RV camping and guess what, they got a golf course. Look at that Emerald Cove or Emerald something golf course. Look at the greenery <laughs> against the desert. Of course, they got the water. Straight out, there's uh, County Park. There's a big fancy restaurant called Pirate's Den or Pirate's Cove. Then you got the golf course, heavily played. Look how it winds through there, right along the highway. And actually, it's on both sides of the road. Absolutely epic drive through there. 25 miles that you won't forget. There's the rest of it. <laughs> Perfect. So how's that for a ride, huh? <laughs> now the mountains go away, we're getting right back into the desert. <laughs> Love that drive. Okay, not too much farther down the quartzite. We're going to go explore a couple RV parks down there. See, here's the other access road. There's also a big uh, flea market on Saturday mornings. La Paz County Flea Market. Every Saturday. This time of year. Pretty cool. All right, next stop, Quartzite. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>